Do you guys enjoy? Uh, everyone was going like, wow, this dude's commentary is like amazing. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so glad to be here. My name is Nick Cruz. I'll be one of your commentators for tonight, right here live at Versus Gaming Center. Where'd you come from? I came from my mother's womb. Up. <laughs> Battlefield number three. Here we go. So Yoshi and Pikachu again. This is actually one of the new stages. One of the me versus stages, if I'm not mistaken. Where are the dicks? I've been looking for... No, no I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to change my Keep line talking. there. <laughs> so as you clearly see... Can you like blah, 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 just... Blah, 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 Yoshi, Pikachu, and as we can see, there's a heart sign but behind, cheering on what appears to be Yoshi. And as we take in a little bit of information, just give us one second here, folks. No, I was just, yeah, okay, whatever. I don't know so how to fix it. Let's go ahead and everything. take a look and see if we can uh, put this here. We can clearly see as Pikachu and Yoshi are going right at it. They're uh -huh. both about level, and uh, we can clearly see, ooh, nice throw from Yoshi. Yoshi defending, using the egg. Now, the one thing you've got to understand oh, about nice Yoshi's grab. egg is that Yoshi's egg is practically indestructible. Yeah, you now, can't shield poke it at all. You no, know, you can't. So that's something you've got to be very, very careful, especially if you're a speeder like Pikachu and you go in for the dash. You can actually leave yourself open, and Yoshi might even be able to counter from this one. So maybe that might be a tactic that the player, uh, Zai P, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, is going for. This matchup is actually pretty interesting because uh, Yoshi, or sorry, Pikachu primarily has a lot of problems with people that can box him out, and Yoshi, a very, very good character at boxing out. But once Pikachu gets in there, he can kind of just, you know, stay in there and do a lot of damage and doesn't really worry about uh, Yoshi's double jump too much. But uh, it looks like this Yoshi has the lead over Keepa, South Florida's second Pikachu. Ooh, look at that. That's a good Shy Guy. Yeah, now we can clearly, oh, that is actually really nice. Now, one thing they can clearly see from this match right here as it ends, this can really go either way because... If this first stock can go, correct? Now the second stock is where it really gets interesting because since they're at such high levels, it'll basically be a restart if they both knock each other right off the nice bat. dash attack. And there it goes. That's what I'm saying. So this is something that Yoshi's got to be careful with just because Pikachu's got range on him. Yoshi's got a little bit more of a distance to him. Unless he's using the egg bomb, then it's a different story. However, in this type of situation, Yoshi's got to be very, very careful. Oh, like I said, with the dash, it goes in through. Almost knocking out poor Yoshi. Thunder not actually that powerful in this game compared to like its brawl counterpart. Oh, nice up smash, gets the punish. Oh, and there goes That is an Yoshi. adorable Pikachu puppy. There it goes. Here it comes with Yoshi trying to come it through. Yoshi's down to one stock. And I just believe they told him to get up. I think something happened. I guess they're going to have to get up here. We also need to turn this Wii U internet off if we're going to play on this. Okay. As we get ourselves a Russell, what are you doing? Oh, he's talking about the invulnerability of ledge getups. Because uh, Pikachu actually only has like one frame that he's vulnerable before he can shield, or of two, course. or something like that, because neutral getups are broken as hell on the ledge. I understand. So now, if that's the case here, as we can clearly see, they're kind of a little bit of a standstill. They're chatting away. They're probably trying to figure something out. But as you can see, Pikachu is very, very high in damage. If that's the case here, Yoshi just needs to get a one solid hit, and this can be a, basically a restart match to sudden death. Almost had it right there as we speak. A lot of things will kill at this point. Up air, nair, back air. Oh, misses the read on the quick attack. Oh, Doesn't nice have a kill throw. throw, though. There he goes. Doesn't do the job just quite yet. Nice dodge nice by Yoshi. Trump. He doesn't have invulnerability if he grabs, but Flash. Pikachu Ooh. actually one of the best characters at like after getting less Trump because he is very versatile in his recovery, so he doesn't have to worry about... Oh, please don't kill that with down air. So he doesn't have to worry about grabbing ledge a second time since he can just quick attack back on stage. That is correct. And that's Kipo really wants this extra credit right now. There yes, we go. Does. There it is. Now, a smart tactic would be from Pikachu as, as Kipo's doing is doing as much damage as he can before he lose that stock. Wow, that, that didn't kill him. Didn't kill him, but that is very, very crucial for Pikachu at the moment. I'm just refreshing with that. No worries. Nice tech on the back Ooh. air. Kipo staying alive. Trying to hang in there. Can keep a dude. Wow. What, what a beautiful recovery. Wow. I've never actually seen that one before. And Yoshi. Beautiful hits. Beautiful kick there. And that's another stock down. As but hey, 45% is nothing to sneeze at. That's a pretty sizable lead for Keepa. It is indeed. And now that's what I was saying. Now defense right here, I believe for Yoshi, is going to be very crucial. I believe if Ko Yoshi can actually take its time, think a strategy out with defense and counter, it can be very, very crucial against Pikachu in this rate. Oh, I thought it was going to SD because Keepa is known for his SDs. LC as we come through. Here. Yoshi yes. through. I'm not going to eat in here. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, so if you're just joining us, we are here versus Gaming Center. And uh, remember, we have 91 entrants, by the way. Wow. 91. That's Almost 100. That's more than Xanadu. Wow. Where are you at, MDBA? 
There you go. <laughs> Our top 16 is like super stacked. You can see it uh, at versus.challenge.com. You can see the bracket. I think it's finalized now. It is absolutely ridiculous. We have like our ninth seed in the tournament is still on our top 10 PR because Honorary Shaky, uh, the Nest player, is super, super godlike and he's not technically on our PR. So uh, he was put above and it's, he's pretty good. So we have Fuse in the building from Tampa because he wanted some South Florida practice because he knows, he really knows who's better. Nice down throw, uh, Ooh, down throw Thunder. And Pikachu takes the yeah, win so on this one. He knows who's better and he needs that CEO practice. So I mean, shout out Tampa, where are you at? <laughs> Actually, one of you is right here. We'll see how he does in the tournament today. It's going to be very, very interesting today I with these results. Uh, do not As we get ready for a technical match here, it's Gandor versus Roy. Now, Roy is one of the brand new DLC characters coming out from Nintendo. I've got to say, it's probably one of the nicest DLCs that we have. They also brought out Lucas, which is so a major much. one from Mother 3, which I actually played. I played it on a ROM. Don't sue me. Don't 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 come to my house and, you know, Are we allowed to say it on stream? You played on a ROM? Oh, man. We're, oh, no. We're, we're illegit now. <laughs> <laughs> You know it's got real there. But anyway, so I played Mother 3, great game, so Lucas is one of them, and an unexpected one, Ryu. Um, I was not expecting to see a, a DLC from Ryu, but... Really? I feel like he got he got leaked quite some time ago. Um, I did hear about it, but yeah. I, was, I was kind of the guy that was like, ah, I want to give it the benefit of the doubt, but... Um, hey, we got Ryu. Uh, Ryu is a very... very hey guys, if you're watching the stream right now, please tweet us out. We're about to start our 91 entrant Smash 4 tournament on Thursday night. It's we incredible. Are in it's it's incredible. I, 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 you know, it's I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just the thing that I've noticed that's so incredible is that how much actually Smash is growing. You know, I, I remember back in the day where it, it was a big thing, of course. Don't get me wrong what I'm going to say here. But uh -huh. it, it's just amazing how, how big of a community it's growing, especially here in South Florida. We know we got some big name players out there. Um, I'm seeing more tournaments pop up at different stores. I'm just It's unbelievable. It's yeah, just dog. incredible. This, uh, man, I've been, Sma I've been with Smash since the early days of Melee. And mm. it, it just starting from there and seeing where it is now and, you know, just thinking about where of it's going to go is so absolutely ridiculous. And I'm scared, man. I'm scared. Maybe, <laughs> you know, what if, what, if next, what if next yeah. week we have 150 people for a local tournament? Oh, I don't even know goodness. what I'm going to do. Like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, our, our weeklies usually I get home at like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. and I've oh. got nothing to do tomorrow, so I'm good. <laughs> oh, man. I, okay, so I want to look at the bracket real quick because so I know let's take a look. Let's see both of us are on. in the tournament, and I want to make sure there's always someone on commentary while we're of playing course, matches. Of course, of course. Uh, oh, so anyone, uh, then again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again if you're just tuning in. We're here live from Versus Gaming Center. I am one of your commentators for tonight. I am Nick Cruz. Nick Cruz, thank you so much for joining us. Where are um, you from? I'm actually from Coral Springs, Florida. Wow. Uh, so we're local, local, somewhat. Where have you been somewhat. hiding this entire time? Uh, that's what I ask myself every time. Every time I'm hiding under my rock, actually, where the hell have I been? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, I um, long history of media. I'm 21 years old. So... Uh, been doing it since I was actually 13. Doing uh, real quick, I'm gonna check out. Sure, let's, let's take a look at our brackets real Ooh, quick. It, no still works, it still works. It still works. There it oh, is. No, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I no, it's fine. No worries. Don't worry. Look at this 91 entrant bracket, <laughs> guys. What are you doing tonight? What? I hope you have a lot of time, a lot of free time. I hope you love Smash because there's gonna be a lot of Smash happening for the next five or six hours. This is crazy. We do this have more ridiculous. setups than usual, mm -hmm. but I think with 91 people, like there's nothing. It's gonna last for a very long time. <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna last a while, but hey, we're actually here all night, so you know what? Yeah. We're gonna, no. I'm gonna, you know, commentate with you guys. If I lose early, I'm gonna be here the whole night if I can, uh, as long as I can be with you guys tonight. Yeah, do me a favor, scoot up real quick. <coughs> oh yeah, of course. Let's not ruin there. Let's not ruin the banner. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So look at this. Wow. Uh, let's see. The the comp names use Esam on deck. He's very early in the bracket. True of blue. We, we have Fusix here all the way from Tampa. Wow. That's unbelievable. That's crazy. Yeah. So um. And Asha, let's see if I can find him real quick. Control Z. So we're going to go take a look at our player spotlight, and it is... I'm sorry? Who's our player spotlight? Player spotlight, Izzy! Izzy! Izzy, Izzy is one of the oldest school of Generation 1 Super Smash Bros. Brawl players. Wow. And he has been gone for the last, I want to say, one, two, three years. Oh, wow. And he's back tonight. At Versus Gaming Center. Of course, at Gaming Center. Wow. <laughs> so shout crazy. out to Izzy. Rocking that Game & Watch since, since day one in Brawl. That's unbelievable. And he, he's back. <laughs> That's great it's, to have him here. It's to see him. On, ah, man. So I, I guess our player spotlight will be Izzy for tonight. And we're going to definitely try to keep up with some of the brackets of other players. And... Uh, you know, really try to keep in tune with Izzy. Um, so it's very interesting to hear. Two yeah. to three years, and he's coming back. Just coming back out of nowhere. Nobody expected him to be here. He didn't say anything. It's like, he, wow. didn't, he didn't warn us, and he's back. Um, very also interesting. This is the first tournament where we're using the new patch and the okay. new DLC characters. So we do oh, have. Okay. I do believe we have a uh, Leo Hart. Uh, I'm not sure if you know him, if you watch the stream at all. Leo Hart, one of our uh, really great players from South Florida. He's playing Roy, so this should oh, be very, okay. very interesting. I, he, you know, he also a Captain Falcon player, so we might, we might see that also. Um, 
I don't know if we have any Ryu players off the top of my head. Yeah, I haven't really seen much quite He's yet, but you know, we still we got a hundred plus people. Yeah, this we're bound to see at least one Hydoken. Uh, yeah, at least one. <laughs> at least one Hydoken. I'll make sure there's one on stream for sure. Um, but yeah, I feel like he's a really good character, but he's very technical and has a high skill ceiling. So it's only been less than a week at this point. Of course. I don't really expect anybody to be on you know the high level Ryu stuff. Uh, Roy, on the other hand, I've seen I've seen Leo Hart's Roy for his hand, and it's it's amazing. He's really amazing with the character already. So I'm scared. <laughs> you, know? you know, and as, as speaking of person, though, I've got to say that it's actually been playing the. Fire Emblem games. Um, I've actually been playing uh, Fire Emblem Awaker. Pompano Beach, Florida. It's current time right here is Eastern time of 8.31 p.m. It is sweating hot outside. Thank God we're guy. inside. I love uh, you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> and um, I've got to say, it feels good to be inside. You know, I was actually um, just a little shout out to a local restaurant out here called Charm City. Charm City. Everybody, 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 trust everyone me. goes there. Everybody, everybody, everybody here knows about <laughs> Charm City, my friend. <laughs> so... Big shout out to Charm City. I was eating lunch there today, and uh, you know it's funny. I was talking about this place. I've actually this is my first time here, and um, I gotta say I love the atmosphere here. Um, if you guys never been to Versus, uh, you, I would highly suggest you guys come here. It's it's awesome. I've gotta say the lights. It's it's dark. It's kind of dim. Like kind of like yeah, the ambiance is nice. It's yeah, just, it's exactly. Just like you want to play video games. It's not know? like all bright and shining in your face, yeah. like the holy light <laughs> of Pit or you know so we see it coming like oh, it's just kind of like. <laughs> It's chill, you know, and you can get in the game. All right, so let's go ahead and get to our matchup. It's Fox and Wario. Yeah, Gear's also known as Snorly, one of our veteran uh, Wario players. In oh, South wow, Florida. okay. And Joe Star Pride, Pride I'm not, I haven't seen him before, but um, that's great. You know, we have many, many new players tonight, 91 entrants. Including myself. Yeah, I've including never yourself. been an attorney before, so <laughs> this is a bunch of new firsts for me. Yeah. Ooh, well done by Fox to hit the bound, but Wario with a nice hit back. And there's again moving forward, Wario going inside the motorcycle, rushing through, grabs Fox, yeah. nice grab, look the, at that. The way Snowy plays, very, very aggressive, uh, Wario, you know, he's been playing this character for a very long time, you're going to see a lot of, he's, he's going to feel very comfortable, you know, he's, nothing's new to him, he's played a lot wow, of matchups. Wow, look at that. <clears throat> and one thing I've got to say, that makes what an entertaining match right there, is the fighting of going out there and fighting and playing. Taking chances, that's oh, yeah. what win matches. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can, Sometimes yes. you gotta go for the, the extra hard read. You know, it, you know, you can't course. go for safe you're not gonna kill anybody with safe moves all the time. Um well unless you you know you're certain characters, but of course. Yeah, <laughs> Talking of course. about that. <laughs> oh no, like I was saying, this is the, the first time with the new patch, so um of course. we might not see as many Diddy counts tonight. I don't, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, we'll see, and one of the big things I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing a lot of is a lot of Roy's, which would be cool too, from the new DLC, like we mentioned earlier. Um, that is going to be, I think, interesting because it's essentially such a short notice of DLC, if you know what I'm saying, like yeah. the time that they've released it to nice the time people can actually practice. It's going to be a very interesting thing to see tonight, see how well people really practice uh, playing with Roy or Lucas or even uh, Ryu. Yeah, even though they're new characters, a lot of people don't have experience playing them. A lot of uh, a lot of opponents don't have experience playing against them, so mm -hmm. that, you know, that, that could work in your favor also. And watch as we go here, Fox trying to make a move. Now Fox is down a stock, and Wario starting to take some hit damage right there as they move forward. But he's defending, well defended. Wario going right through through his motorcycle. Once again, well done by Wario. Yeah, Keeping a bit of a distance, but playing the long range of the so motorcycle. He's playing, you know, listen, he's up one stock right now. <laughs> Look at he just opened his big jaws just trying to eat the lasers. <laughs> Sitting up one stock right now. He can play all, he can play as absolutely as safe as he wants. He doesn't have to get too crazy, not too aggressive. And the one big theory that I like to mention is that when you're up to stock and you have a chance of really letting as much damage as you can, I believe you have a higher percentage of actually taking the win just because, you know, you have the extra stock, you know, it's yeah. your percentage, why someone else would say 30 or 40 percent, they, it just gives that a bit of advantage. So that's why I, like a good tactic to use that I've seen is if you're up a stock, go all out. Oh, Try yeah. to do as much especially damage as you can, just like at that. Absolutely, look at that. especially with the race. <laughs> Let's go for the hits. Game. And it's oh. over! And Warrior takes the win for the first one. Fox is just can handle this one. Well done by Wario. Gears taking the first match of our first Smash 4 only weekly. Oh, that's hype, man. We got we are round one on deck. We never ever get to have round one on deck. So I'm really there glad. we go. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and take let's take a try counterpicking Roy like and, and Dreamland 64. This is the first for Two the first Two DLCs in <laughs> one. Look at this. Like I said, I mentioned Roy was being a new character that was added to the DLC. Uh, I believe he was in Melee, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. It was yes. Melee, Roy correct? Melee. Yes, Me Roy from Melee. Um, I played with him once. Uh, he's got an interesting feel to him. Yeah, he's very similar to Marth, but much, much shorter range, obviously. Yes. Uh, the sweet spot of his sword is uh, close to the hilt inside of the, the end of the sword, so you're going to have to play a closer game to him as uh, instead of Marth as you, you know, kind of space. Of course. And as Roy's trying to find a good hit, jumps back. Oh, that's pretty cool by Wario. Eating his motorcycle. 
rushing through. Roy trying to... Oh, beautiful hit by Wario. Getting another hit back in from Roy. 69 to 46%. Yeah. And here comes Wario once more. Punches just, him off the stage. 86%. Just. As they're getting through there. Another hit. It's 91%. <laughs> Can he knock him off and get into the last of losing one stock right here? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> do not... Do not oh chill. My God, I'm <laughs> yeah, just after, yeah, just after I doing a lot better this match than he was doing the last match. Uh, sitting at one to seven percent, not too bad. He's gonna want to not take too much more damage. Wow, as Roy is trying to trying to find a way of hitting it, but the wind is actually blocking back. Now that's an interesting thing that they added from the old school map of Kirby, if I'm not mistaken, the Kirby map. Yeah, and it's um. The wind can actually be a factor. Yeah, now, when I say by that, it can be a factor is that you can push the opponent off if you play just right oh, and get the, the high Ooh. smash. <laughs> okay. No Playing a little dirty key. there. <laughs> <laughs> as we get over there, as Roy taking another hit. Beautiful. Oh, no, not, no, no, enough. no not enough. There. Not enough. Oh, they're falling forward there. Unbelievable. As Roy are trying to knock off Roy. Oh, there it goes. Floating down like a burned butterfly. Just floating <laughs> down. And Wario is coming back up, chomping his big chompers there. So Joe Star Fry is going to want to take out or close out the stock as soon as possible without taking too much more damage. Of course. Ooh, Ooh well last, done by getting an upper hit played. there. As Wario, like I said, mentioned before, he's going to try to get as much damage as he can with his final second stock as it's a very high percentage. He can play a little bit safe like you mentioned. Yes. Let's see. Oh, another smash, smash closing out the stock. <laughs> wow, Gears just kind of falling into that. That was weird. I think he might try to air dodge the ground. And there we go light. again. So Roy. Now I, I I feel like here these two these two opponents are gonna really play it safe a little bit more safe now. Let's see as we see defensive, well done yeah, by looking, Roy looking very, very to even right now. Ooh, Wario finding another opening by the open frame, jumping around, missing each other. Ooh, that was pricey as Royce. Roy trying to get in over there. It Can looks like, like it looks like Gears feeling a little bit nervous right now. It's, this is a lot closer than I think he probably expected it to be because the first match was very decisive in, in Gears. Yes, favor. it was. It was very very high in his favor, but again. Any any mistake could actually be the winner. Oh, Ooh. did it? Was that the one? No, not, no not quite yet. As Wario trying to find an opening, 109 to 77 percent. Wario, oh, hits him. The oh, <laughs> Wario is out of that one. Well done by Roy. <laughs> oh, Gears is not happy about that. Oh my gosh, the salt. <laughs> wow. So guys, real quick. Uh, this is round one of the Smash 4 versus Gaming Center Weekly every Thursday night. If you're just now tuning in, you know, we don't usually get to stream the entire Smash 4 tournament. But we have my good friend, I'm sorry, what's your Nick name? Cruz. Nick, Nick Cruz. Cruz. Nick Cruz. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. A soccer <laughs> commentator. This guy's the man. This is unbelievable. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting absolutely carried right now. <laughs> well, no worries, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. <laughs> uh, but um, quick to know, our mics do pop. Um, if, they're, if it's too loud, it'll cut out. So, gotcha. yeah. No, no I, tr trust me. I understand the hype. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we get back here, it's Roy versus Captain Falcon. Ooh, Captain Falcon going in straight to the punch. No pun intended there. <laughs> and as he gets through, Gears, ooh, taking another hit from Roy. <laughs> Captain Falcon not not slowing down at all. Just going relentless. Yeah, okay, so Gears kind of picking the to Captain Falcon. This is a character that lets him be a little bit more aggressive than Wario. And it seems like Gears have taken note that uh, Joe Star Pride, is, his defense, uh -huh. not nearly as strong as his offense. Uh, so it's, I think this is a good counterpick. It's a good counterpick ooh. stage for also. Ooh, Roy, nice with a little bit of the upper hit there. Can Roy come back and get some chip damage in? Nice throw. Gears oh, okay. almost had it there. Chipping defense, well done by Roy once Gears again. Gears shield back. on that dancing way. I don't know why he dropped Ooh. it early. Nice save of the street. Can Good. that be the first knockdown? Yes, it is. Captain Falcon <laughs> takes out that first stock at 64%. Oh, oh, no, just our pride whipping a counter while he had invincibility. I don't know why he did that. JCP. Now, JCP is not completely out of this. Now, the reason why I say that is just because JCP has a chance. If he can knock out Captain Falcon right now and get out that first, well, their, his second stock, it'll be basically an even match. Yeah, the thing about Captain Falcon is he's very strong on stage, but his recovery is not as great. So uh, he's a very easy character in the game for certain characters. I feel like Roy does a pretty good, good job also. So if he can get Captain Falcon off stage, he, he can bring this back. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. As, ooh, Roy trying to find it. Oh, just saved himself from up on the stage. Roy trying to find an opening of an attack. Well done by Captain Falcon to hit it right there on the side. Captain Falcon, another throw and another hit. Tried to go for that smack the top there. Ooh, <laughs> well done right oh, there. Oh, in the forward there. Oh, oh that's going to take Roy. it. So Joseph Price hit it 49%. This is nothing. He can bring this back very easily. If he plays very solid. It's what I feel. It's more how well defensively. Again, defense is sometimes the best offense. And at this Absolutely. point, at 80%, it's going to be very crucial. We can clearly see that Captain Falcon is going out with so oh much. Oh my gosh! Oh my can this gosh! Can be the one? Oh, he goes for the spike. Right. Saves himself! <laughs> Unbelievable! 
just barely reaching the ledge. Here we go. Roy once the more. Going for the attack. Look, trying to get the upper. Back. See, uh, Captain Falcon seeing it. Ooh, Ooh, oh, just wow. a frame off there. Roy taking another hit. 96%. Captain Falcon at 64. Can Roy now to 76 for Captain Falcon. And as we can clearly see, Captain Falcon defending. Another great hit. Oh my gosh. Trying to push it out to the side. And there comes Roy trying to grab onto the ledge. Oh, no. What's Why the an opening? Mid-screen. Oh, Jesus. Here's trying to find the opening. Oh, Can it be the wall? Oh, he okay. survived. That's very, very interesting. The patch actually nerfed the, uh, part of his up air. Wow. So that's, that's part of, uh, a big part of the reason why that did not kill Roy. Both playing it's very conscious. Throw. Could this be the one? Fourth throw? Not no, enough. not yet. 150%. Roy As Roy comes in, he's still in there. Roy now sitting on max rage. Oh. And it's all over. Oh. Boom, shakalaka. Captain <laughs> Falcon takes the win. <laughs> Unbelievable. Two to one in this matchup. And it's all over, ladies and gentlemen, as we have our first win at Versus Gaming Center. And the winner is Captain Falcon. <laughs> you're the greatest. I love you so much, Doc. Thank you, thank you. And if you're just now apparently tuning us with the Versus Gaming Center live stream, we just had our first win. Uh, it was an incredible matchup between Roy and Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon at the beginning is coming out with the punches on the offensive side and just doing a great job of pushing it through. And just when you thought Roy was going to come back, just because a couple of times as it was just floating down, it just didn't make it to the side of the ledge, Captain Falcon goes out with the punch and gets the first victory here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nick Cruz. Thank you so much for having me. I'll come back after a couple games. I'm going to take a quick break here. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much. I'll be back. Oh, matches here tonight, and I've got to say, it's a pretty interesting uh, outcome, actually. I've actually one of the persons that unfortunately lost against my opponent. Uh, oh, so a big shout-out nice. to him. I believe his name was Zeke or Zeke. I apologize if I get it wrong. Um, I got destroyed. <laughs> that happens. No Yo, Ew. South Florida's a hard region. Uh, what's up, Everyone in the stream that's saying hi to me, I guess. Um, so anyways, we have Carl, or excuse me, True Blue against the Black Guy Gamer coming up. Um, that's his actual tag, guys. You know, for those of you regulars in here, you know that. Um, but this is going to be interesting. We're probably going to see uh, Sonic. Well, we're definitely going to see Sonic from True Blue, and I'm expecting probably a Wario from Black Guy Gamer. Uh, that, you know, it's his main character. He's probably going to use. Okay, now the two characters that, <laughs> yeah, no worries, now the, now the two characters you pointed out, Wario and Sonic, now the, the difference between the two, obviously, is speed from Sonic, and a little bit of slowness from Wario. True, but what Wario lacks in speed, he makes up for in being really fat. That's right, that's and right. And Sonic true. got hit by the patch hammer a couple times, so his, uh, black tag gamer, that's funny, uh, he, uh, he doesn't kill quite as early as he used to, but he still is a great neutral game. What's going to be interesting, and I'm interested to see if uh, Black Eye Gamer is going to abuse this, is Wario can actually completely shut down Sonic Spin Dash with the B button. Just just eats him. Okay, well, we'll see how's we're doing. So let's see. We're gonna, I don't know how well-versed he is in this matchup, though. Uh, True Blue being really our only Sonic down here. I know there's a, another Sonic named Death Star that's been coming pretty mm -hmm. recently, but uh, for the most part, True Blue's been the only Sonic we've had uh, down here consistently. And I'm not sure how much Black Eye Gamer has experienced this Sonic, so it's going to be an interesting match for sure. And as we get ready for this first up uh, match here, if you're just now tuning in for Versus Gaming Center, uh, we're so glad you're here to watch this matchup. As we go ahead, we have our combatants going ahead to pick up their map. Uh, again, thank you so much for tuning in as we go into full screen for the match. It's Wario versus Sonic, and here we go. As we get into the, as you see, the players have really determined their focus into this Wario taking the first damage. Go. And Sonic playing very well. Like as I mentioned, the speed is going to be tough for Wario to actually try to get some damage onto Sonic. But as you mentioned earlier as well, that sometimes he can make up for that lack of speed. And let's see if he can actually use those tactics into this match. Here comes Sonic, hitting again a few blocks in. 54 oh, there we go. There we it see is. the bite. He reacted to the spin dash very well by pressing the B button. Oh, mm. didn't quite get that one though. Almost had it there in 84%, and, and this yeah, looks like a very much one-sided match. Great, yeah, look great at this. lead right now. Sonic. CFT Blue going for the punch. Complete miss as Sonic gets in the hit there. 128% to 9%. Complete difference here. And here comes Wario with the motorcycle. Hits him down on the ground. Is this going to be a KO right here? Tries to use this min dash there. Can't get it. 158% to 17%. Clear difference between the two. As it's starting to Oh. Here's nice Wario. combination. Troop was looking for a gimp right there with the spring. Try to hit him in stage spike him into the stage, but didn't quite go through Wario's up B. Ooh, Sonic trying to find the lock there. Very nice. Very nice. That was well a very nice delay by uh, True Blue, delaying his spin dash 
uh, to not get bitten by Wario. And you see, Car True Blue seems to you know know how to avoid getting bitten, uh, uh, getting eaten by Wario. He's, he's listening to the commentary. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's, he's he listened to our advice. And as Wario ooh, getting hit, nice, nice, well Doesn't done. Get punished, Trying though. to punish. Ooh, well done to try to keep it down on the low side. As Wario is in big, big danger of losing the first lock. There it goes, Sonic. Knocks Ooh, out the, the first stock. Well, <laughs> the, the taunt. taunt. <laughs> True Blue really feeling himself right now. He's really feeling it. If that's a that's a scene <laughs> of like cloak. In just in case anybody knows that one. <laughs> uh, I think we may have heard it a time or two before. <laughs> and one one taunt that I'm really sad they got rid of was the you're too slow taunt. <laughs> Unfortunately, they got rid of it. I don't know why. Nintendo, if you're listening, bring it back. We want you're too slow. And here comes Sonic trying to get through. Final hit there. Wario chomping away. Gets a down hit there, grabs, defensively playing. Now what we're seeing here is Wario is actually playing a little bit more defensive now. I'm not sure if it's just being nervous of getting the one hit because very quickly we're seeing Sonic getting the hits. Very easily. Ooh, nice if using his own his own machine against him. Very well done. Tries to go for the down hit, can't grab that one. And Black Eye Gamer is really going to have to make something happen right now. He is a huge over a stock, over a stock deficit right now. Oh, oh great hits him. fart! <laughs> and True Blue does not tech, and that will be the stock. However, Black Eye Gamer has a huge mountain to climb right now. He's at 101%, not quite kill percent for a fat character like Wario, but, you know, he's getting closer. And as you clearly see here, Sonic trying to find out what is going to happen there. Can he get the easy grab and take the win here? Wario chomping down, 32% to 101%. Here we go again. Sonic taking more damage against Wario. Sonic hits him once more, 112. This can be easy winning for Sonic if he can grab a hit. There it is! Sonic wins this match here! Sonic versus Wario, and sorry, Sonic takes the easy win there. Yeah. My bad. And that's uh, True Blue taking the first win. Unbelievable. That was uh, well done by Sonic. Like yeah, I said, again, True the Blue speed. Definitely asserting his dominance uh, in that match. Showing, you know, he really knows his way around. He can get around the bites. He's not going to just completely get shut down. Uh, Black Eye Gamer is going to have to, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't make, it doesn't render the bite useless. He's just going to have to time it better. He's going to have to space it better. Oh. And uh, let's see where, <laughs> let's see what, uh, where they're going to go for game two. Yeah, may as well. Why not? And so, as we can clearly see, the players are actually having a friend. You know, they're talking about it. See what they're going to do there. We got Norley, uh, a.k.a. Gears right now, giving Black Eye Gamer some advice. Uh, Gears being a fellow Wario main. Uh, going to give him some tips for that Sonic matchup. And game two, are we going to see Smashville? Uh, we might see it again. Let's uh, find out. And if uh, you're tuning in with us, uh, thank you for joining in here at the Versus Gaming Center. Uh, we have uh, CTS Blue, True Blue versus Black Eye Gamer. Uh, for our matchup tonight, oh, they're going to play at the battlefield. This is going to be a good one. Battlefield. Okay, this isn't a bad choice, I think. Here we go. Sonic versus Wario, and let the match begin here. As Opens Sonic a charging very up. Slow bite. Oh, Ooh, bite some! Great. Well done. Did he? Did he be reverse that? I didn't think you could be reverse bite. But wow, that anyways. was such a great chomp there. Sonic trying to get it through. Ooh, gets a couple punches in there. Wario. Whatever advice that his friend gave him there, he's paying attention and he listened. And you can always see it's it's working. As Black Eye Gamer trying to go for the chomp, doesn't really necessarily get it. Uses Ooh. the motorcycle once more to negate Sonic's dash. Sonic trying to find an opening, playing a little <laughs> bit more cautious than last match. It's a complete different from last matches. The last match we saw here was Sonic was going out with the attacks using more of the speed. Now Wario is playing tactically. Look at that, another oh. chop well done that, by, that by Wario. That's interesting how it got him from behind. So he puts on his defensive side, Sonic. Nice little couple combos there. Ooh, well done by Sonic. And just like that, he's already getting catching up. 67% to 48% there. Sonic playing some defense there. Nice dash right there. Ooh, Chomps on him once more. Good second bite from Black Eye Gamer. Good Black Eye there. Gamer, nice up. And this is definitely, you know, this is a pretty different match than we saw before. Neither side really has a huge lead, but you know, <laughs> but uh, True Blue's not at zero, <laughs> which is, which is definitely an improvement. And ooh, True Blue just runs right into that bite. Kind of an uncharacteristic switch uh, from the last game. Uh, you know, True Blue's doing a really great job getting around those bites. Yeah, yeah. But now they seem to be working. Black Eye Gamer maybe spacing them a bit better than he did before. Ooh, and he did not well, want his bike on the stage. We can both agree on one thing for sure. It's a complete, complete turnaround from last match. Now oh, well done by Wario. 
Ooh, and what's, what's he, he trying looking to go for? What's he looking oh, for? Oh, oh, oh. Takes Keegan a hit from the mid-air! Black now, Eye Gamer finding an opening. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, how Black Eye Gamer is going to close out this stock. It's very hard to get a... So Ooh, well, there's a fart. There's one option, but it's very hard to get a solid hit on Sonic just because he's such a fast character. And Wario doesn't exactly have... He's not a, he's not a combo character. It's not like he can... He can combo, I know, you know, down air into of course, for example. But other than that, he doesn't really have too many combos into kill confirms. And oh, oh that oh, but oh well take done by stock. Sonic takes Good loses up the smash. first stock. And Sonic, which will be true blue, taking the first point lead here against a black gamer here. And let's see what's going on with this one. But we also gotta keep in mind, Sonic's not too off in the out of the force here, because just one hit can be easy enough he loses a sock. Just as such. He's gotta be very, very careful now. And, and just like I was talking to you earlier. When you're up a stock, try to get as much chip damage as cautiously and fast as possible. Because that will give you the next huge advantage when you lose your when you start off a new stock. Absolutely. And any yeah, anything True Blue gets right now is completely free. Uh, it, it's all free damage. Oh, oh great that's what I was saying. Punishing uh, well, Carl's on, or True Blue's F Smash with. Um, and now, you know, not not a terrible deficit for Black Eye Gamer this game. Definitely, you know, doing much no, better course. than he did game one. This actually is still can be anyone's match. Very easily. If Wario plays his cards right, plays it tactically, and gets it in those chomps, we can probably even see a win from Black Eye Gamer right here. But at the meantime, it's 60% to 0%. So we do see a little bit of advantage there. Well done by Sonic. Trying to get... Oh, look at that one! Finding a spot, oh, farts his way into the atmosphere. That far. I don't really agree with that, though. Even though, you know, it was very charged, but it wasn't going to kill Sonic at 0. Let's be real. Comes Sonic trying to find an opening and once more hits it, Ooh, hits I'm the shield. Nice throw. That. Wow. Gets another hit in Ooh. there. Goes for the chop. Ooh, just unfortunate for Sonic. Trying. Oh, I was wondering what he was going to go into. Black Eye Gamer's got those bike combos. Oh, going to heal that 1% or 2% real quick. I don't remember which one it is. Oh, nice delay. Ooh, down air into up smash. Cute. AK, I mean, you know, standard Wario stuff, but it looks cute. We don't see Wario's on the stream though, which guys, bear with me. Anyways, um,. Carl, True Blue, excuse me, really utilizing the roll up from ledge option. That was an unsafe bite. Uh, I'd like to see Black Eye Gamer kind of capitalize on that because True Blue is definitely afraid of the bite. He does not want to be bitten, so he's going to roll a lot. All Black Eye Gamer would have to do in that situation is just turn around F smash. Oh, now nice it seems like I said, this could be easily anybody's game right here. Takes and a hit. Is this the ooh, one? Up smash and that's the one. Kill. And there we have it. Sonic True Blue. True Blue will take that over Black Eye Gamer 2 0. That two game no. 2 is definitely a very good game, though. Well done from Sonic, and ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner, True Blue versus Black Eye Gamer, 2-0. Why do people open the door and just stand there? Commentator swap. We're, oops, sorry about that. Oh, yeah, trying to mess that. We're going right. to have a quick commentator swap real quick. It's been a pleasure. Uh, Nick Cruz, right? That is correct. Thank you so much, yeah, guys. Um, hopefully, I'll return in a little bit. Uh, thank you guys for having me. I'll hope to see you guys soon.